Here's the latest on Tropical Storm Gordon with the 4pm update coming out just now from the National Hurricane Centre, that's central daylight time this September 4th. Gordon has winds of 70 miles per hour, a pressure of 1,000 millibars on the verge of hurricane status and on approach to the Gulf Coast where it's going to make landfall later this evening, possibly at hurricane intensity uh, or just shy of that. Uh, obviously it's going to be a significant impacting storm with those wind, wind speeds uh, with higher gusts of course. 57 miles from Pensacola, 94 from Mobile and 101 from Pascagoula amongst other locations there. Storm surge is a significant risk of course as well as those tropical storm force winds and heavy rainfall which could lead to flash flooding. So these are the warnings. The tropical storm warning has been uh, relaxed slightly. It's been brought back further east still covering all of these areas and you can see the storm surge watches and warnings also in effect there uh, it's becoming quite clear where the storm is going to make landfall so this is what we expect tonight into tomorrow it's going to be an overnight storm uh, into Wednesday you can see gradual weakening as it moves inland and that weakening will continue and then we have a bit of a messy picture after that with rain here and there nothing out of the ordinary though as we enter the later part of the week and certainly nothing tropical on the radar at least in this region although there is hurricane florence which is way out at sea and not going to affect the gulf so then let's move on to the sea surface temperatures and here they are 29 or th maybe even 30 degrees celsius near the land uh, at least 28 at the very minimum and it's certainly going to not be an issue for the storm and it, as it continues to try and push towards that hurricane strength. So there's the landfall we expect tonight. The way it's been going we may possibly even see an Alabama landfall but the official line is still that it's going to make landfall in Mississippi. Not really going to make a huge amount of difference uh, because it's not one of these where the winds are it's a strong hurricane and the winds are concentrated near the center it's going to be rather uh, similar conditions across the whole breadth of the storm really but especially on the eastern side so any areas that are east of the center of Gordon will most likely get the worst conditions if it's close to the center so these are the chances of tropical storm force winds as they stand right now Pensacola 63 percent Mobile 90 Gulfport 92 New Orleans down to to 39 percent and Baton Rouge at 9. So that is as we get a better idea of which areas are going to be affected. These are what the forecast offices look like across these areas. Tallahassee, Florida first of all. You can see that surf advisory there, high waves, rip currents, uh, all the usual things you'd expect to see on the coastline and one or two thunderstorm warnings there as well. Uh, this is Mobile, Pensacola. You can see where the tropical storm and hurricane warnings are uh, by this depiction here. A lot of flood watches as well in this area extending some counties deep in Mississippi and Louisiana. Um, and here is the New Orleans office showing the latest uh, from Gordon. And you can see on the left hand side one or two flood warnings also in effect there along the coast of Mississippi and not far inland. Uh, this is Jackson, Mississippi, inland a little bit here, uh, an elevated threat, uh, three to six inches of rain in all of that orange zone there, um, and a limited threat elsewhere, one to three inches. And this is Lake Charles uh, showing lots of thunderstorms on the forecast, up to 50% chance. That flash flood warning just over the border into Texas, that has been lifted. So in case you need any more reminding of the models, it doesn't really pale into any significance anymore because we pretty much know what the storm's going to do. There's not much of a window at all, just a few hours for any further intensification. So the most we're going to be looking at here from Gordon is a minimal Category 1 hurricane. Um, very few hours left for it to intensify over those waters and land interaction is going to start to become an issue. We'll be able to see that more clearly on the satellite imagery, just how long it's got left. And here it is. So you can see how it's been developing. It's certainly grown in size a lot throughout today. A lot of the Florida panhandle underneath that cloud coverage, even though they're not in the warning area. And the central core of the storm is getting very close now to um, the sort of towards the border with Florida and Alabama at the minute. Uh, but we still expect it to draw a little bit further west towards the Alabama-Mississippi border. When you look at this imagery, at least, it looks like even if the center passes further west, the worst of the weather is definitely going to be felt in Alabama by the looks of things, and possibly even into the extreme western part of Florida, but don't rule out the other locations.
You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat. <laughs>